everybody it is sarah here with purple angel oracle uh man it's crazy out there <laughs> it is crazy um depending on on you know what you're seeing if you if you watch the media if you i mean it's kind of hard to avoid at this point so yes things are are crazy okay and on my last video i had said you know i had this feeling things were gonna get a little bit more crazy before they start to simmer down right and i you know i didn't want that to provoke fear in anybody it's it's in our real in this 3d reality there's no avoiding that this is it's filled with fear and panic right now and we knew this we knew this was going to happen i just wanted to share how to navigate through this because it there's no truly avoiding it when it comes into your reality especially when the majority of humanity is consumed with that fear and panic at this point i just wanted to make that clear that in no way was i trying to create fear um i'm just here to help those navigate through this because i know it comes into our everyday reality constantly and it's nearly impossible at this point to push it out okay so i just wanted to clarify it in no way was i pushing fear okay so um i also had posted on my community board yesterday about a mass meditation video you know so promoting this mass meditation that I i'm going to be joining as well and it's set for april 4th and april 5th and i got a few comments like why is it so far in the future why aren't we doing it now and i thought the same thing i'm like honestly i just i have this feeling the coronavirus i just feel like it's gonna die out at some point soon so i'm not sure where we're gonna be at with the coronavirus um on april 4th and april 5th but the reason they chose to do that mass meditation on that day was because it'll be at the exact moment of the jupiter pluto conjunction on april 4th and 5th okay the exact moment so the energies at that time can be very beneficial for this mass collective meditation that we're doing now things may change we might be you know change the focus of the meditation and if you watch that video the main focus is to just bring about this this wave of heavenly love to the planet this shift um which would ultimately get rid of you know all of those lower vibrational energies depending you know everything so that's i just wanted to clarify that as well um i myself would love to do here soon a guided meditation visualized visualization excuse me um and i had had received a few comments you know requesting that and i said you know it's really hard for me to do a live at this point because i have two very young children and it live is kind of difficult at this point in my life so what i would probably do if i do this is pre-record it and then um set it as a premiere and you know we can have the chat down below but we'll be doing this meditation and i will be there doing it with you as well now i personally have never really watched a lot of guided meditations um so i'm new to this so when i do this meditation please just bear with me these are just visualization techniques i naturally started using for myself it's just something i've always done even you know ever since i was a child my imagination and visualization was very important to me so I found a way to utilize that and, and realized I'm actually doing something. I'm creating this as I'm visualizing it, right? So that's something I, I am working on. But uh, moving on. So I do want to address the coronavirus. This is a, a major topic right now. As I stated at the beginning, the majority of humanity is, is in upheaval and panic over this coronavirus. And I typically don't like to talk about it because I don't personally enjoy feeding into it, as I'm sure many of you feel that way as well. But I just, I, I want to share with you how I'm navigating through this because I myself, like I said, I have young children. They go to school. I'm around you know, people all the time. I, I have family members who are 
and friends who are being affected by this. I mean, they don't have the coronavirus, but they're the panic and the worry and the anxiety is affecting them. Okay. And as I stated before in my last video, which was more just about the hostilities that are arising in people, but as far as the coronavirus goes as well, this is where we need to, to be those pillars of light that we are and offer support and comfort. Now, what's going to happen if you offer your spiritual advice sometimes in this situation is people will get defensive. Um, and I've already noticed that in my day-to-day -day life. They will almost get yeah offended that you're not taking it seriously, that you're not freaking out about it. They're, you know, it's almost offensive to them because they want people to realize what a big deal this is because that's the paradigm that they're currently in. And there's nothing wrong with that. But all you can do is not get angry and just be understanding. And typically what I do when I'm confronted with this is just say, you know, yeah, it's okay to be prepared or it's great to be prepared. Because if stuff does get a little crazy in your outer reality, you want to be comfortable, right? You want to be comfortable in your own home. You want to have your needs met. You know, toilet paper, right? <laughs> the toilet paper epidemic. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not funny. It really isn't. But the toilet paper situation is a little, a little insane. Um, everywhere is sold out of toilet paper. And, you know, but actually I did go to the dollar store yesterday and they had plenty of toilet paper, but everywhere else was out. So I'm like, I stocked up on just a few. I'm not freaking out about it, but you know. Um, so yeah, I just, it, it's the, the best thing you can do right now is stay calm. Just stay calm. And, and let that calming, soothing energy just come off of you onto others. And understand that the way they are acting right now, they, they truly can't help that at this point. They're just unaware that it's it's whatever paradigm you're choosing to play in at any given moment. Um, and the bottom line for us as light workers and way showers is to remember what is actually happening here, right? Gaia is ascending. We knew this was, I mean, in order to get rid of an old paradigm, it's going to be a little shaky. It is. And there's no sugarcoating that. We know this. We've been prepared and prepped for this very situation. Um, it, it, guy is shaking off the old, clearing the path for the new. So it's like seeing the dawn coming up, the sun coming up, that golden dawn, the golden era. It's coming up, right? It's just not fully visible yet, but we're literally right at the beginning. It's like an egg, a chick hatching out of an egg, right? It kind of starts shaking and cracking and then you see a little piece break off and or a mother giving birth okay it's kind of a shaky process at first um until this new dawn or new life comes out completely and it is okay to see what is going on in your 3d reality like i said at the beginning of this video it is very difficult to not see that in your reality every day now it is everywhere it's affecting our daily lives as light workers as well like i said the toilet paper right so and we're still here we are still here we are the ground crew and if you're being guided to just ignore all of it as, as best as you can then that's that is totally fine that's what you should be doing um because, you know, we all can agree that the more you feed into it, that's the more it becomes your reality. And that's very true. But at the same time, you can be meshed in this reality and still be looking at it from a higher perspective without getting consumed with it, without letting that become your reality. So me personally, I'm aware of all the different theories about this virus as far as, you know, the deep state and and this being a manufactured um, bioweapon, all of those different things. I've looked into all of it and I don't choose any which way because it truly doesn't matter what it is. Because like I said, we need to remember what is actually happening from an energetic higher perspective, not even a higher perspective, just a different perspective. And 
it's almost it's like we're the watchers in a sense looking at this from a different view and we're sending love to the planet we're the superheroes the angels and from the perspective that we're at we're able to create miracles we're able to work with these energies transmute them save the day right on the mass on a mass scale here it's just what paradigm you're choosing to be in at any particular time because there's several different timelines trying to play themselves out but ultimately the choice has already been made Gaia is ascending and we're moving to a higher frequency a higher vibration um, a timeline the heaven on earth timeline that is where we're heading but the rest of this is shaking off it's it's falling away and we're just in that process of watching it and that could be very difficult to navigate because it gets really intense and that's where we're at right now it has reached a point of that the, the the chaos that energetic storm like i mentioned in my previous video that is where we are at and it's just okay it's like this so there's a haunted house right many of us have gone through haunted houses it's like deciding to go in the haunted house and full on getting terrified and scared right like it really terrifies you or you could not even go in not even participate just stay away from it that's your choice this i'm talking paradigms here right or here's another choice you go in but still watch from a different perspective which is what most of us do when we go into a haunted house we know when we go in there that it's not real we knit we're we see it for what it truly is therefore it doesn't scare us so there's several different ways you can look at this it just depends on what paradigm you choose to be in at any given moment none of them are wrong everything is is just playing out exactly the way that it needs to play out it's just now you have the ability because you're awake to be in that you can go in that submerge yourself in it but not let it consume you not let it become your reality and still be aware of what's truly going on that it's an illusion this is just how that specific timeline is choosing to play out and and that's what i do as i said it's very hard to avoid your 3d reality at this point because this this chaos has consumed the planet but there's also a huge amount of growth and light and love pummeling the planet right now as well and you know this went perfectly with my cards because i got the void and i got growth so the void is kind of what a lot of people feel like they're in right now and that would be because if you look at the planet you might see just this crazy lower vibrational energy panic chaos anxiety swarming it and that's kind of this void where people feel scared worried about death um disconnected from anything else because this is all they're seeing but in the midst of this there is growth there is new beautiful amazing growth it's like a flower blossoming at night and i've used that that metaphor many times because that's what what is essentially going on is it's a flower that does not need the sun it's just it grows out of this darkness right and that's what's going on if you look at it from a higher perspective and see that this is what we've been waiting for as scary as it may be this is that shaking up process getting rid of the old the truth coming out um this is that this is the beginning and we know this and that's why it's it's super important because here are my other two cards we got wisdom and re resistance there's the resistance right it's important to hang on to your inner knowledge your wisdom tap into that and remember what is actually happening here from a higher perspective this is that resistance that i've been constantly talking about that lower vibrational energy clashing with the higher vibrational energy climbing and building and building and building until boom 
that's when that shift happens and we're at that buildup and the reason it is happening quick i mean we're getting it's happening day by day now we knew 2020 was going to be insane and look at it we're only at the beginning of march and look how much has already happened this is it this is the time we have been waiting for and though it might not be manifesting the way you thought this is why we came and deep down inside you know that and you know how to navigate this because that's why we came here we came here to bear the light to bring the light to share the light during these turbulent times and i'll go back to you know being a parent that reference it's like watching you know having multiple children and watching those two very different children express themselves in different ways watching them grow watching them make mistakes and feeling helpless at times right and all you can do at that point is love 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 send as much love to them as you can and that's basically what's going on you're just watching every expression of source express themselves at this point in time and how they're choosing to go through this ascension process of the planet whether they're aware of that going on or not it is and as the awakened ones we're able to see that and so it is our responsibility to be strong and to send that love and to remember who we are and why we came here just look at yourself as a loving parent i mean we look up sometimes to our angels and our galactic families for protection and help and that's who we are though that's who we are for this planet we're just the ground crew so think of it the way that our galactic families or the angels see us from their perspective that's where we're at when we're looking at it from a different perspective we are in a higher dimensional state we are the watchers we are the protectors it's just pick a paradigm you know pick whatever one you're feeling i mean it's hard because sometimes you feel like you don't have a decision we are in and out of many but the key most important thing here is to just remember what is truly going on and that's the easiest way to navigate through this and love love is is going to be the key factor here love yourself love the planet and love others um i'll share with you one visualization technique i use right if you want to picture this energy so you can either do this above your city above the entire planet just picture yourself above the entire planet in your truest form whether that's an angel um an et <laughs> right anyway and look at the panic from an energetic level as i said to me sometimes how i look at it is almost like veins like these crazy fast moving veins a grid of panic and just a dark it's a dark color you know because it's it's a dense it's a dense uh, energy that's kind of enveloped the planet right now where everybody's the paradigm they're in currently. So visualize that and then bundle it up in your hands. Just sweep it all up into your hands to where you're looking at it as a ball. Just this dark mass of all of it. Everyone's sadness, everyone's panic, the anxiety, the terror, the fear put it all up wrap it all up into this ball and you're holding it in your hands and then visualize your hands you know just being filled with light so your your light hands they're shining full of light holding this ball of density and then move your hands together penetrating that darkness consuming that dark ball right until your hands are closed and then open your hands again after you've transmuted, transmuted that dense glob, if you will, <laughs> into love and light. And now you have this ball of light that you've transmuted. And then drop that on the entire planet. And picture it almost as like a, 
sonic boom. Just like, bam! And watch that wave go over the entire planet. Like that ball of love and light that you just dropped. Because you took it all, you took it all, you took all that density, you held it in your hands, you cleansed it, you cleaned it up, and now you're putting it back. And then imagine the planet, everybody on the planet, just taking a breath, like, ah, finally, just relaxing, joy, peace. Now that's one visualization technique I used. So I hope that helped, you know, if, if you were visualizing at that time as I was, then we all did it, right? Um, that's all we can do. That's who we are. We're the earth angels, the ground crew, the star seeds. And it's like I said, we are meant to be meshed in this reality to see it. But as I said, also, if you're being guided to stay away from it and you, it makes you uncomfortable to be in that and, and be it, you know, submerged in it, then don't play in it. But I personally, in my day to day life, can't like this is something that's coming into my reality more and more. And so I have to figure out a way to navigate through it. And what I'm doing the majority of the time is looking at it from a different perspective, like watching a movie watching this timeline play out and sending as much love as I can to those who are really, really meshed in it and can't see any other way. And that's not their fault. This is a very dense, energetic storm that a lot of people are in and it's filled with panic and chaos. And that's how it's manifesting in our 3D reality. And that's where we are at. We are the ground crew, as I've said so many times. We are meshed in it. But at the same time, we're in several dimensions at once. So you're looking at it, sending it love, but also being within it. It's very intense. It can be very challenging. And remember, you are doing the best. You are doing your best with what you have. Everybody is. Just send as much love as you can to any situation that arises that triggers something in you. We are so close. You know we're close when the chaos hits the fan here. I mean, stuff going on right now has never happened in my lifetime. It's never happened in my dad's lifetime. So this is this is pretty big. Pretty big. But we got this, everybody. We got this. We've been prepared. We've been prepped since the beginning of time. This was the purpose of this entire charade here. Remember that. Remember who you are. I am going to get going. I will talk to you all soon. I love you. Bye.